And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Larry Miller. So does anyone have the slightest idea what's happening in Washington right now with this economic thing? Because I don't. I don't think I'm an idiot, but I have no idea what's going on with it. I don't understand it at all. It, it's happened before, it's gonna happen again. And everything, every time something goes wrong in that city, I feel like a parent who's come home a day early from a vacation. <laughs> you know, what have you done? <laughs> Whose idea was this? Did you have a party here? And they are, they're just like the children going. <laughs> he did it, no, I didn't do it, it was his idea. You shut up, no, you shut up. It's just like babies, and I don't, the economists say that it's a science, economics, and I, 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 don't, I don't think it is. Because it's everything, it's all so vague. Economists are the only people who say things like, it's too soon to adopt a wait and see attitude. <laughs> well, that's quite a science you have going there. Here's the only, way I can understand economics, and I hope it helps. Mm. I would like a Ferrari. I cannot afford a Ferrari. Therefore, I won't get one. Now, I know you're thinking, well, Larry, that's just crazy talk. Let's break that down. All right, let's break it down. I would like a Ferrari. I cannot afford a Ferrari. Therefore, I won't get one. Near as I can figure it, people in Washington say we would like a Ferrari. We cannot afford a Ferrari. Therefore, we'll take the red one. In fact, we'll take 535 of them. That would be really neat. My wife and I are at the point where it's either divorce, murder, or never drive together again. How does that happen that you can't drive together anymore? Never came up when we were dating. I was a fine driver when we were dating. Never came up, now it's a turn here, turn here, turn here, turn here. What, we're not in front of him, in front of him. We why do you speed up, slow down. Ah, ah. Ah, you go too, you're too jerky, ah, ah. Every time I read about something horrible happening, like the wife kills the husband or the husband kills the wife, I always think, I wonder if they were driving together just before. <laughs> like right before it, you know? And then she just followed him upstairs, and then just, that's it, bam. <laughs> just pump three hot ones into his head. And that's it. That was it, Your Honor. He, he kept waving people in in front of us. And I kept telling him to stop it because he thinks he's being so nice and, and I killed him. And then I killed him and then he never made lights and he always says, well, such a nice day and we'll just be together another couple of minutes. So I killed him. He thinks he's so nice and now he's dead. Thank you.